Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot or record the screen on a Chromebook, all right? So for that end, this is my Chromebook. This is an HP. You can have any other model. You can have Dell, Samsung, Lenovo. Doesn't make a difference. The process is going to be the same. So the first thing is that we have to find something to take a screenshot of, right? So for that, I'm going to use the, the Chrome web browser. And I'm going to go to my YouTube channel, my IT workshop. So this is a good time for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. That really helps my channel a lot and the people who also need this type of content. Now I'm going to show you the keys that you need to press on the keyboard so you can take the screenshot. So the keys are Control, Alt and Show Windows button. OK, so I'm going to show you a little closer now. So again, it's Control Alt and the Win and the Show Windows button. You have to press them at the same time. I'm going to do it right now. And right away, you are going to see uh, uh, this short, a small menu pops up. So as you can see, it's selected for uh, a screenshot, a picture, and we have two options. The first one is uh, take a screenshot of the full in screen. So as you can see, I click on that and click anywhere to take the screenshot. So you click anywhere and that's the screenshot. So you can click on that and you're going to go to the folder where it is uh, saved, but I'm going to take the another screenshot so you can see. So I'm going to press the same combination, Control Alt and Show Windows, and now I'm going to select uh, the second. This one allows you to take a custom screenshot, so you can take uh, just a part of the screen, not the entire screen, just part. For example, using the mouse pad, we can select only the videos over here. As you can see, there is like a rectangle, and you release it, and then you press on Capture. So that save this portion of the screen, not the entire screen. So now I'm going to, you might be asking, hey, where is this save? So you go to the startup menu and here you tap, you type file. You can see, see it over there. You click on that and that's going to take you where the files are saved. So as you can see under my files and downloads. Also, as you can, as you can imagine, these two files are um, pictures. So you, if you go to images, they are there as well. But if you check up, it says read only. That means you cannot uh, delete them or rename them. As you can see, they, th those options are grayed out. So if you, if you want to do any changes, go to downloads over here. You have the same two pictures or screenshots. And if you right click on that, you can see that we can rename them, we can delete them. So always work on that. So I'm going to open the second picture, the second screenshot that we took, the one that is uh, custom. As you can see, it's only a part of the screen. And this is the entire screen, the first screenshot that we took. So these are the two differences uh, for the screenshots. So now what we're going to do is how to record the screen. All right. So I'm going to press the same combination. And now we are going to select the second option, the one next to the camera. So this is like, well, the video camera. And we have the same two options to record the a partial screen or the entire screen. Right. So I'm going to select the entire screen first. So you click on this and then it's going to uh, press anywhere or click anywhere to record. So as you can see, three, two, one. And now it's start recording. And as you can see, this pops up. So this is the button to start to stop the recording when you are done. So now you're, I'm going to do something like a tutorial. I go to the startup menu. I go to files over here. And then here's where you can find all the files that you have downloaded. So this, this was my short tutorial. And now when you are done, you click on this and the recording is saved over here. So as you can see, this is a video now. If you go to the video folder, you can see it there. So, but it's the same thing. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot do any changes. And now I'm going to play this over here. As you can see, we are going to we are we are watching the video I just recorded a few seconds ago, and you can see how it looks. So then after you have done that, you can send it to somebody. You can link it. You can upload it to the cloud and all that. So now. I'm going to put this down and we are going to do another recording. So we press the same combination. We select the video recorder and now we are going to record just a portion of the screen. OK, just the videos, let's say. And now I'm going to press record. Now I'm going to see the three, two, one. And now it's recording. So now I'm going to hover over the videos because so we can see like a, a small introduction of what it's uh, what it contains. And now I'm going to stop the recording. I stop it. Now I click on the folder and now we have it here. So I'm going to double click on it. And as you can see, it's only showing us 
uh, the partial recording. It's not showing us the entire screen now, just the part that we selected. And as you can see, this is more, uh, you can focus more on what you want on a video on the, on, the, uh, on the screen of your Chromebook. So now I'm going to close this and now from here you can delete it and you can do anything that you want with the files. So that's uh, what I wanted to show you in this video. Maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, as you know, I'll see you in the next video.